All right, I got this cool old sharp calculator off eBay. I thought I'd just do a little quick video about this calculator. The seller didn't know if it worked, but if I turn it on, it works perfectly. We can clear the display. To use it, we first must clear the display in memory, as this does not have any circuitry to clear those. So when it's turned off, it's just trying to solve a problem in the background. And when you turn it on, uh, obviously it's nonsense, but it's got some pretty cool functions. We can do all the standards, do two plus two, four. We can do some subtraction as well, three. Let's say we want to do three plus two, or three minus two. So we have to add it to the register. Then we put it in two. We're going to tell it that's a negative number and it subtracts works as intended. This one's also got some unique features with the multiplication division functionality. Let's say I want to do 12 times 12. I do 12 times uh, the multiplication division keys. I actually have little light bulbs in them, which is pretty cool. It'll blank out because it now wants my next number, which I'm going to put in 12. As you can see, it kind of goes crazy while doing that. Now, as well as that, uh, it cannot do multiplication over 13 digits. This has 14 Nixie tube digits for you to work with. Uh, for addition and subtraction, you can do all 14, but for multiplication division, you can only do 13. So if I do that, I'm just going to times it by itself. We can actually see the process as it multiplies. Now the error light has came on because that overflow to display, but this calculator doesn't particularly care. I can still type in numbers because on this one, this model is notorious for having an issue when it goes into an error, it does not look up the calculator. It will also happily try zero divided by zero for you. As you can see, apparently it's zero, though this does actually lock it out, but it doesn't give an error. They did fix that on later revisions of this model, but this particular one is an older revision. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty quick demo. We also have this, this is the tabulation dial. We have some options here. We have, uh, this is what you would use to select your decimal points. It's fixed decimals. So this is no decimals. This one will give me two decimal places. So if I do two plus, it'll move that over. Move that over another one if I add it. Now it's three decimals. Next is four, uh, it's this key. And then the last option is six. That is the most decimal points I can do with this. Anything over, and it'll either cut it out, uh, or if I set it to the other side, there's two positions. There's these black numbers, and there's the red numbers. The red numbers will round it off for you. But we'll go back to the standard ones that do not round. And yeah, this is a pretty cool calculator off eBay. It's also got these little tabs on it. Now these, Let's say you had a number that you need to focus on and look back to. You could put it on that number, and that would help you look for it or find it. It's pretty interesting. These older sharps tend to have that. Uh, it's also got memory accumulation, which is pretty odd for an old calculator. Let's say I wanted to put 56 in the memory. The memory light on this one's very dim, but you can just barely see it trying to work in there. It's right there. It's very dim. But if I clear the calculator now, let's say I want to do 3 plus 3. And now I want to go back to that 56 uh, memory recall, and there it is. Let's say I want to add 56 to the memory, and if I recall it, now it's added it to the memory. Declear the memory, and now it's zero. We'll go ahead and set the tabulation dial back down to zero. And there we go. That's a very quick demo. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do a full video on this if there's enough demand, but yeah, it's just a vintage Sharp Compet 22 calculator from the 60s. Maybe I'll do more shorts about these calculators coming soon. Probably so. Anyways, that's it for now.